Hi friends, I'm Steph. And I'm Michelle with Sunnyside Design. Welcome to another video. Today we are decorating for fall and we even have some ideas that are free. The theme for my fall decor this year was inspired by natural fall foliage and beautiful colors outside my window, which is really just a nice way of saying the bright sunflower weeds out in my neighbor's yard. So with scissors in hand, I did what any respectable neighbor would do and trimmed their weeds down so they can thank me later. But these will only stay looking fresh for a couple of days once cut. So I headed to Michael's for some faux sunflowers to put in their place once wilted. And that, my friends, is where I was inspired to make this modern sunflower wreath. It came together so quickly, we decided to share a tutorial with you. So keep your eyes peeled for that in the next week or two. Not only is it bright and cheery, but I love how the vibrant yellow pops off our navy blue door. Be sure to visit the links in the description below. We will have all of the products used for this wreath and all of the other decor items that we purchased in this video. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and help our channel grow. For the doormat, I decided to use a denim rag rug as the base and then I layered on another rug from Walmart that was about $11 that says hello. Just layering those two together I feel gives it a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color and just looks really cute together. I also like to incorporate a little bit of height onto my porch just to create a little bit of interest and I like doing that with my lantern. You can use plants or other tall items as well. Then I'm taking a plaid blanket scarf. It looks kind of like a throw just to add a little bit of that yellow color onto the bench and from our popular denim pumpkins that we used last year I knew I had to use them again so we brought them out this year as well tap that info link above to see how easily they are to make so you can make your own and here are the flowers that started it all we've paired them with some pampas grass clipped from the side of the road yes more weeds in our decorating but the best part they're free and a little pro tip when you're clipping these grasses bring a can of hairspray with you and spray them before cutting so this will keep the seeds from falling and making a huge mess then i'm using some preserved fall foliage they're real leaves and since they're preserved, they stay looking vibrant. Gosh, we've had these for so many years, we can't even remember. So we'll put a link for these down below as well, but it just is a little way to add in a little bit more of that yellow color. We're going to sprinkle it throughout the mantle, just pulling that yellow color in. You know we love decorating with vintage finds, so to balance off the fresh foliage on the other side of the mantle, we used these really cool wooden vintage um, spools as candlesticks. So we just placed a large candle on top and they look perfect. Okay, I do have to tell you, I only had one blue candle, so I just painted the other one. I know it won't be lit because that would be dangerous, but just for decoration purposes, it worked like a charm. To keep the mantle balanced with color, I'm also adding more of these good leaves just to bring in a little bit more color. And I'm adding a fun pumpkin that I found last year at Hobby Lobby. Not only is the fresh foliage free, but how about another free fall decor idea? As requested by some of our viewers and readers from our blog, we've created more free printables for this Dollar Tree inspired bunting. You can also download printables for Easter and the 4th of July. So be sure to look in the links in the description below. We will have a link for you to download this fall printable. You can also tap that information card above to see how we made this bunting and go grab your own supplies. 
when thinking of the centerpiece for my coffee table, I immediately thought of a centerpiece I had created for our patriotic decor. So oftentimes we like to tweak a vignette or a centerpiece from one holiday to the next. So starting with our patriotic inspired centerpiece, we swapped out the daisies for sunflowers and this bowl had seashells in it and we swapped those out for acorns. Then of course, just adding a festive throw to your chair or your sofa and some accompanying throw pillows just really helps tie the whole space together. Lastly, we wanted to pull in a little bit more fall decor and this bright yellow color onto the top of our piano. So I'm just layering a little bit of vintage lace and a navy pumpkin that I painted last year. We will also display one of our family photos and bring in more of those yellow leaves. I have to say too, I was a little bit surprised when we went into Michael's how much sunflower decor they had. So I didn't know that I was on trend, but apparently I was. So we will link a bunch of the other items that we saw there that we really liked. I just didn't need them all in my home. So you may like some more than others, so be sure to check the links below. And again, to balance off the color on the other side of the piano, we have this DIY fall flower arrangement we made. It came together really quickly and the only thing I needed to purchase was these faux sunflowers. So be sure to come back next Monday. We will have a video tutorial on how to create this flower arrangement. We used a vintage makeup suitcase um, for the base of this flower arrangement and just added in some other fall textures. All right, what did you think about these decorating for fall ideas? Do you love Steph's inspiration of the sunflowers? I love especially this wreath that she made for her door. Yeah. I think it is so cute and it was all inspired by those flowers she saw out the window and a little yep. trip to Michael's. Yep, so we're excited to share how to make this in the coming weeks, so make sure to stay tuned. Be sure to tap the like button, give us a thumbs up, share this video, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Ask questions, leave your comments below. We love hearing from you and always here at Sunnyside Design. We hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.